You listen to me, James Hawkins. You got the markings of greatness in ya. But you got to take the helm and charge your own course. Stick to it, no matter the squalls. And when the time comes, you get the chance to really test the cut of your sails and show what you are made of. Well, I hope I am there, catching some of the light coming off you that day. Okay, so that is what we are going to do today. I will walk you through my workflow on how to achieve this custom MetaHuman using the Conform in the MetaHuman Creator plugin. To work, you need these five elements, the head, the body, the teeth, and the eyes. It should be a MetaHuman base mesh and topology. To get your base mesh, you need to install Quixel Bridge on your computer. Once you download it, log into your account and you're ready. Download one of these character presets. This will take a minute and you can take your coffee. By the way, if you're interested in following along with tutorials, I include all the files with this tutorial on my Patreon. So go and check it out. Okay, once it is downloaded, navigate to the files where the files were downloaded. Click these three dots to locate your files. Once you find them, open Maya and drag them to the viewport. Rotate your model to negative 90 degrees on the rotation axis. Select the head and export. Name it whatever you want as long as you remember later. Open ZBrush and import the head you exported from Maya. The order for this one is that your base mesh or retopo mesh should be on top of your high poly mesh. Okay, before I forget, I need to model a placeholder for the ear later for the wrapping process. Maybe you're asking if we don't use the existing ear from the MetaHuman. The answer is no. I tried it many times, but I got a bad result. It works only on a human character since this is not. So let's model a placeholder for the ear where it needs to be later. Okay, that's enough. Open ZWrap. The rule of this process is to ensure that both of your models have the exact point numbers and that the locations of their points correspond to where your base mesh needs to be. Just follow what I'm doing here so that you get the same result as mine. Believe me, I test this one a lot, so don't waste your time. Follow the same thing that I'm doing here. I will fast forward on this one so that you don't get bored. Enjoy. Once you've completed all the points, make sure to save them. This ensures you can easily import them later, eliminating the need to repeat the process. By the way, please subscribe and like if you haven't yet. Okay, press the wrapping button to do the work for us and wait and see. After the wrapping process, let's export the newly wrapped mesh. Open Maya. If you remember an earlier video, we need the teeth and the eye. Import the new head wrapped and position the teeth and the eye correctly where they need to be. Then export the eye, the teeth, and the head. We will use this in Unreal Engine. Okay, open Unreal Engine. Select the blank template. Name your project, whatever you want. Go to Edit and Plugins. Enable all MetaHuman related plugins and start the engine. Open the MetaHuman lighting and migrate to your newly created project. On your content browser, create a new folder. I will name it MH. Open it and create a new folder, which I name mesh dot. Open it and drag all the files we exported from Maya before. In offset rotation, make sure you type 90 in X rotation to avoid flipping the mesh. I know this because I tested this one before and saved the files just in case. In the MH folder, 
Right-click and select MetaHuman Creator. Rename your files, whatever you want. Open it. So this is our default MetaHuman template. Don't miss this missing project settings. Enable it and start the engine. Open it. Select the head modules, conform, and click select from the template. Uncheck the adapt neck and on the alignment options, choose none from the dropdown list. Now load all the mesh in their respective places. First the head, the left eye, the right eye, and the teeth. And then press the button to confirm. How cool is it? It is swift. Now you can play around and you can test the textures, the lighting, etc. Once you are happy with your modification, with the hair, the brow, etc., click the Create Full Rig button. This will take time. After it is done, click the Assemble button. Now open one of the maps we migrated before. Choose the one you prefer. Open the MetaHuman folder and double-click it on your character. Inside the blueprint, select the body in the Details panel, type Render, and uncheck Visible. In our case, we don't need the body, so we need to hide it. Compile and save. Now drag your character into the viewport. Zero out all transforms. Play around with the lighting to see which one is suitable for you to look at. Create a new level sequencer. Create a folder where to save it. Add your character to the sequencer and play around the controls rigs. That's all everyone. I hope you learned something from this tutorial. Please subscribe and like, and please do support me on my Patreon to do more content like this. For now, and God bless us all. You listen to me, James Hawkins. You got the markings of greatness in ya. But you got to take the helm and chart your own course. Stick to it, no matter the squalls. And when the time comes, you get the chance to really test the cut of your sails and show what you are made of. Well, I hope I am there, catching some of the light coming off you that 